Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna do, what are we gonna do today? We're gonna do a bronzy, golden, glowy glam. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Bronzy, bronzy, glowy, golden glam. But we're not gonna really be golden. <sighs> okay, so I don't know what we're gonna call it yet, but we're just going to do like a glowy, summery, bronzy looking glam today. How's that? How's that? It's kind of going to be similar to the look that I had in my favorites video. A lot of you wanted to see how to use the like Makeup Forever, what are these? Starlit liquids. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to kind of do a voiceover talk through just because I feel like when I do talk throughs, it's just like forever we are sitting here. So Let's go ahead and jump in. I'm not gonna throw on a moisturizer today because I just did a hydrating mask. I did this one from Origins. This is the 10 minute mask to quench skin's thirst. So I did that pre, pre me sitting down here. So I'm not gonna throw that on. Um, I'm just going to mist my face with a little bit of the Urban Decay B6 Vitamin Infused Complexion Prep Priming Spray, which we did talk about in my favorites. So, mm-hmm. And I like to be generous with it. As you can see now, I look damp. <laughs> Go ahead and let that sink in. <sighs> I'm also going to prep my lips with my Best Damn Lip Mask. Again, if you guys have not tried this mask, what are you, what are you really doing with your life? <laughs> my hair's all wet. It's all misted, mistified. For my primer today, I'm going to use the Dr. Brandt No More Pores just because it was sitting on my desk and I was like, you know what, I haven't used you in a hot minute. So let's try this guy out again today. I loved him once upon a time and then I just stopped using him. I started using other things. It would be nice if I had a mirror in front of me. So we're just going to put this in our problem zones, which for me is like right here in my little cheekage area. And I feel like you can see like a difference like already in my skin. So I'm gonna use my Lancome Stick Foundation. I may be a shade too dark when I first apply it, but by the time we're done with our makeup, everything will blend and look okay. I just did a little bit of self tanning last night, so hopefully it works. <laughs> And then I'm gonna blend it out with a damp beauty blender. Okay, I think it I think it's going. I think it's working good. <laughs> Don't be concerned about the white headband, it's only for applying makeup, so. Pretty good, Lancome. Pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. And to save time, we're going to do our brows like this. No brows to brows on. So the color that I'm using is from Melt Cosmetics, and it's in the color Unseen. I'll be going back and forth, dipping my brush in and out of the product. I just like to work with a little bit of product at a time. This way, it ensures that we don't have too much happening just easier to work with a smaller amount. And then you just wanna repeat this, going back and forth until you've built it up to the intensity that you like. So I usually go in like three, four, sometimes five times, just doing the same things over and over until uh, the shadows are looking how I want them to. And then for our lids, I'm going to use the Make It Forever Starlit Powder in, I think the shade is 4, and I love it because it doesn't have a lot of fallout. It's super shimmery and shiny. You can totally leave it on its own, but because it is a little bit of a wet texture, I like to pack something over it. So first things first, I'm just going to get it on to the lids, and then we're going to blend out the edges and then pack it down so there's not so much liquid happening. And then we're going to pack a shade on top of this to just intensify it a little more. 
So then to set that star liquid powder, I'm gonna take the shade Daydream from my glow kit and we're gonna pack this all over our lids. I'm just using a MAC 242 brush and a little bit goes a long way. So to kind of help fight fallout, you wanna just use pressing motion. So I'm just pressing the highlighter onto the lids. So then after it's all pressed on, I will go back in and just blend everything out so that you can kind of see I have a little bit of extra highlighter up there in my crease. So when I go back and blend it out it'll be cleaned up and nice and gorgeous so I told you guys that you could use the highlighters as eyeshadows but daydream has to be like hands down my favorite one to use as an eyeshadow mm. I am going to conceal and you know I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape Mine is running super duper low. I use it uh, in the color light medium. So I'm gonna dab this out first. I like to take it up on the sides of my nose. My nose. When Car was here, literally anytime Car is around me, I'm like contour my nose. Cause she just does it so well. And like I, I try to contour my nose and I just don't think I have the patience for it. Um, but it looked so cute was my point. <laughs> And then when you're like blending it out from here, you really want to concentrate just like on the edges here to blend that into your foundation. And of course, we're gonna set it with the Laura Mercier Super Brightening Powder. Do you expect anything less? All right, then we're gonna do a little bit of bronzing of the cheeks, and I'm gonna use the NARS Laguna palette and this brush from Morphe. It's a 105 brush. Um, I have one that I was using that was like a miniature version of this, and it broke. So that's why I'm using the full size version. I'm not really trying to like chisel, I'm just trying to like bronze it up. I'm really tan today, guys. <laughs> check then for my blush I'm gonna use this one from the Matt Caitlin Jenner collection this is just called buddy I'm just gonna use that guy and then we'll give the face one spray to bring it back to life before we do our highlight. So for highlight today, we're gonna use my Nicole Guerrero Glow Kick. What? <laughs> um, and I'm gonna do a combo of shades. Usually I never just use one shade in the palette. I always just kind of mix and match to see what uh, I like best for myself for that day. I usually do always finish with Forever Lit on top. I like Forever Lit a lot because it can really make any of the rest of them really pop, even though they are super metallic and just super buttery and creamy and shiny just in general. Um, but sometimes I want that extra uh, so I'll always throw Forever Lit on top of everything. Um, but I actually don't want to use Forever Lit today. And we're gonna use our A23 brush from Anastasia. And I'm gonna actually spray my face. Not the brush. And we're gonna pick up the shade Glow Getter and then we're going to lay this down here. And we're just going to build up our glow. Again, we're going to pick up Glow Getter. Throw him back. 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 Oh my god, it's sickening. 
it's sickening. <laughs> um, I'm going to take a smaller, littler brush, smaller, littler brush, and we're going to pick up Glow Getter, and we're going to do our exclamation point on our nose, so we're going to just do the tip of our nose, even though I know people be hating on the nose highlight, which I just don't understand. I don't get it. I love the nose highlight. Um, and then we're just going to go right down the middle here. Looks a little crooked, but it's fine. And we're gonna do some on our cupid's bow. This is a glowy look, guys. All right, then I'm gonna take my beauty blender, I'm gonna take the button, spray it with the primer water, and we're gonna just dab over our highlight. Highlight? I mean, that's a little disrespectful in my opinion. <laughs> the glow is on another level. Look at this little teeny tiny mascara wand for your lower lashes. Thank you. All right, I'm going to do two lips because I kind of want to see what a red lip looks like with it. Um, so first we're going to do just a easy nude lip. I'm not even going to line in my lips or anything. We're going to use a 535 from Maybelline. And we're going to put 545 over top. And then I'm gonna use a gloss from Bite Beauty. This is their cream lip gloss in Oyster Pearl. Let's be extra with the glow. So I just packed on a little more of the glow getter to my collarbones and to just where my shoulders, you can see my shoulders, how they're hitting the light right now. Just like I said, to be a little bit extra. So this is the completed look with the nude lip. What is weird is I really like the nude lip on camera, but not in pictures. And you'll see the red lip in a second. I used the Makeup Geek plush cream in the color Trophy White. I didn't like the red lip on camera, but I loved it in pictures. So. You know, I liked them both. I liked them both. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't have anything else to tell you guys, except I love you. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.